Let's create an interactive activity in Google Slides to raise awareness of plastic pollution in our oceans. Let's jump into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now this video is part of the new Team Seas movement that you will see popping up all over social media. Now similar to Team Trees two years ago, Team Seas is aiming to get everyone together, creating content and promoting this amazing goal of raising 30 million US dollars to try and get 30 million pounds of plastic waste out of the ocean. Now I'll talk a little bit more about that at the end of the video, but you can find the link to more about Team Seas in the description below. Now this is my video, part of Team Seas, and so find that link in the description to make a donation to this amazing target and this amazing goal. Now let's jump into the activity. Now my goal is to create an activity where you have all the seas on the side of a Google slide, and then our students have to move them into the correct position. In addition to that, there will be some items on the map and our students will have to remove those from the map. Now, the first thing I'll do is create a new Google Slides. Here, I'm going to click on New and then select Slides. Now in Google Slides, I'll have three separate layers that I need to think of. The first being all the landmass of our world. And so I'm going to get a image and then I will trace that image using the Polyline tool. Then the second layer will be my water, my oceans. And so we need to add those oceans with those labels. Then we have an additional layer. That's where the labels come in. That's where the rubbish will have to be removed out of the oceans. And so let's get started. Now for reference, let's pull in an image. So I'm going to remove these titles here and insert an image. So let's click on insert image. Now I already have an image prepared, so let's go ahead and upload this image. Here we are, and this will give you an idea of what we're trying to do. So this image will scale it, so let's make it a little bit bigger. This will be our reference point, and so we're going to trace the different land masses as well as the oceans. So the first thing I'll do is I'll go to the top and under my line, I will select polyline. Now the polyline allows me to quickly trace large areas. Now the first thing I'll do is map out all the land masses and then we can add the oceans. So let's start with some land masses. Here I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to use my polyline. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to select the polyline and let's start mapping out some of these land masses right here. Now for the sake of this demonstration I will speed up the process of mapping these land masses and then you will see me working on the oceans. our first chunk and we're going to add some more so we're going to just go back to the polyline and keep adding all those land masses okay here we go we can now zoom out and have a look at our work Okay, we have most of the land masses that we need for the future. So let's go ahead and select these. We're going to select all the elements on our slideshow. Make sure that we are not selecting the image. There we go. And group these. So I'm going to group these as land masses. So they have now been grouped. We can give them a color. So because it's land, I will just go with the green. And now we're going to add our oceans. So let's do the same thing and let's quickly map out our oceans by using the polyline tool. So here at the top, again, select polyline and let's do the same with the oceans. Let's start with the Arctic Ocean, start at the top, bring it down. We can go through this landmass and you will see in a minute why that is. So just go through this and finish. Now this is ocean and so we're going to select blue and then we are going to push it behind the landmass. How do we do that? Well at the top the menus you can find a range and then within a range we can change the order. So we're going to click on arrange, order, send it backwards. Now this is behind our landmass and that is one of the reasons I said don't worry too much about the landmass, it will work out just fine. 
Here we're going to do the second one, the Atlantic Ocean. And so let's just quickly map this out as well. We can go over those land masses, go all the way down, close it up here. Let's go up and that will close the Atlantic. Again, it's an ocean, so let's push it behind. I'm going to use a shortcut, control down, and it pushes it behind the landmass. I can give it a border or leave the color as it is. Now, because it's an ocean, I am going to give it a border so that you can really see the difference between the two oceans. And we're going to give it a dark blue border and a border weight of four. Let's do the same with the other one. We're going to give it a dark blue border and a border weight of four. There we go. We now have two of our oceans completed. Let's continue. We're going to add the Indian Ocean. Let's go ahead and again map this out. Same thing. Let's give it a blue fill. Change our border to four. Dark blue. Okay, we're going to move it behind the landmass. Looking great. Southern Ocean. Let's go ahead and do the Southern Ocean. Map this out quickly with the polyline. Go all the way down, across, back up. And we are going to close this as well. Perfect. We can send it behind the landmass. And then finally, the Pacific Ocean. Now, because this is in two parts, we're going to create both polygons and then we're going to group these together as one. We're going to go to the polyline and let's quickly map this out as well. I'm going to put that there just like so, go around, that's the first part, and then the second part, which will be here, all the way around, up, through Southeast Asia, and back up. Okay, holding down the control key, I'm going to select both parts of the Pacific Ocean, right click and group these. This is now one single block and I can send it backwards behind the landmass. Our activity is almost complete. Now the last part is to add our labels. And so let's go ahead and add those labels down the side of our slideshow. So let's go ahead and add a shape. Here we go. Let's add the shape here and let's type in Atlantic Ocean going to give that some formatting. So I want it to be a light blue. I can have a dark blue border. And we're going to align the text to the center. Okay, let's duplicate this. We have our second one. This will be the Pacific Ocean. Then we have the Indian Ocean. So let's go ahead and do that. The Arctic Ocean. And we also have the Southern Ocean. Now let's zoom out and prepare our activity for our students. So we're going to zoom this out and let's drag and drop our oceans around the world. So we're going to take all of these oceans. So this is our Pacific Ocean. Let's go ahead and put that there. Let's take the other ocean right here. Let's take the Indian Ocean here. Let's move the Southern Ocean down there. And let's move the Arctic Ocean there. Okay, all the oceans have been moved off of our map. We have our labels right here. Now the last thing we can do is remove all of the information. So let's take the original image we pulled in and let's delete that. Now it is up to the students to drag and drop the oceans into the correct place and add those labels. So for example, they will take this Southern Ocean they will drag it down here. And because I've already arranged those layers, no problem, it'll fit. And they take that label and they drag it over to label the Southern Ocean. Then they will take the other oceans and they will drag them to their correct positions. Once they have completed everything, you will see that our image is starting to look a lot like a world map. And so this way, they really practice where those oceans are. They get to count up how many oceans there are and they get to label them. 
Now, I did mention at the start of this video that this is all part of Team Seas. And so it's all about removing rubbish and trash out of the oceans. Now, Team Seas is working with two organizations, the first being the Ocean Conservancy, and then the second is the Ocean Cleanup. Now, I'm going to pretend to be part of Ocean Cleanup. And so let's put a bit of rubbish into our oceans and let's ask our students to tidy this up. So I'm going to return everything to where it was at the start. There we go. We have our labels, we have our oceans. Let's move our labels a little bit more to the right. There we go. So they are off our canvas and let's add in a bit of rubbish. So I'm going to go in and zoom. There we go. And now let's insert in some images of items that can be found floating around our beautiful oceans. So we're going to go to insert image and let's search the web. We're going to search for plastic cups. There we go. We have a plastic cup. Sadly, there are lots of plastic cups floating around the oceans. So we have our plastic cup. This image is being inserted. Now, obviously, we're going to resize that a little bit. There we go. And that can stay up there. Let's also insert some other types of rubbish. So we're going to insert some plastic straws. Sadly, plastic straws are still being used everywhere. So these straws end up floating around our oceans. So let's go ahead and insert in that image. And hopefully these will start those discussions in the class and get your students thinking. So we're going to also insert some soda cans. So let's choose a soda can. Any will do. There we go. We've got our first one. Let's just insert that. Many of these end up in rivers and then those rivers bring it to our oceans. So let's rotate this slightly, make it look a bit better. And let's pop it onto our map. We will also insert some plastic bags. So let's choose some plastic bags and let's insert these plastic bags into our image. Plastic bags will be floating around. A lot of creatures misidentify these as jellyfish and end up eating it. Let's go back to image search and let's add some more rubbish into the ocean. Let's even go for some discarded tires because sadly I have seen some tires fished up out of the ocean as well when watching some of the content created by the ocean cleanup. Now I will leave a link to their channel as well make sure to go and support them. Okay, we have everything. Now let's give our students a place to put these objects. We're going to add a new box. Let's add that box to the left-hand side. And we're going to type in find all of the rubbish and remove it from our oceans. There we go. We're going to align this to the center, align it to the top and then also change the font so it's a little bit easier to read. All good, our activity is ready. And so now our students are going to go in, they have to find the oceans, place them onto the map, find all the trash or rubbish in the oceans, they have to take them, drag them onto our shape where they can store it, and then discuss why this is such a big issue. Which brings us to Team Seas. So let's talk a little bit more about what this is about. Now, Team Seas is a team, all of us working together to clean up our oceans. Now, the goal here on the left, you can see the mission is to raise 30 million US dollars, and that's going to be used to remove 30 million pounds of rubbish and trash out of our oceans. Now this will be split between two companies. The fundraiser and the website with all the information is down below in that description. So make sure that you check out that link. Team Seas, that's what it's all about. This is how we're going to clean up our oceans. And so make sure that you're joining in with our fundraiser, teamseas.org. Now I look forward to hearing all your comments in the comment section below. Make sure to share this video, share it with any teacher you know, students, anyone you can think of, and let's all create these activities that raise awareness about pollution in our oceans. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.